let's be brutally honest. Car companies bring products into this market to make money. The odd car they'll bring in that's mm, just for a bit of brand exposure, but still it has to make money. You don't bring a car in, go through all the hassle of homologation not to make money. And right now it's even more sensitive in your head office the profitability of the products they send to you because when the factories are full capacity and if you're only making 10% profit margin on your vehicle and yet I can send that car to the US and make 25, you're not getting to the buy. I'm sending all that capacity to the US. See you later. Tell, come back to me when you make more money. So these are the realistic issues that are happening in the world right now. With 30 years experience in auto logistics and state-of-the-art locations in five major Australian cities, Precar Fleet Services are a premier all-in-one solutions provider for commercial vehicle fleet operators, leasing companies, and original equipment manufacturers. Please visit precar.com.au and click on the link to Fleet Services. Now, what's happened in the Australian market over the last two years is that the prices have gone up there for all car companies. So, yeah, it's okay to supply Australia. They'll always supply their own markets first, but when Australia's a profitable market because everyone's paying more for cars than they did previously, yeah, we'll send some more cars anyway. But now the cars are here, you better make the money that you said you were going to make out. If there's 1.2 million cars per year being sold here, there's now basically 100,000 cars turning up every month. Well, I'd say more. It's more. Well, 12 months. 12 months is 1.2. No, but I'd say there's 120,000. There will be. At the moment, all the gas got to panic and say, so, oh, this, we've got a problem here that's cut back a bit. Correct. But who wants to be that brand that cuts back? How's that conversation go with your head office? I know it's a 1.2 million car market, but we're going backwards. But it's not been the brand that cuts back. It's been that person in that brand who has to try and put that question forward. But the first reaction is that, well, can you not do the job for us? Do we need to get someone else? That's sort of the first reaction. And in terms of brands, Mark, where do you see that going? Do you see? Do you think we're going to get a lot of additional new brands coming into Australia? Well, all car companies are selling an EV of some sort. Even FCA are bringing in, or Stellantis are bringing in EVs. Yeah, and they're one of the last to do it. So you know, you've you've got these these products coming no matter what. It's a fact of life. EVs will get to fifty percent of the market. Question is when. Is it going to be 50% in 10 years' time? Is it going to be 50% five years' time? No. There's a lot that can happen. These The changes the government's proposing will accelerate it, definitely, because it makes sense, because it hurts financially. When someone pays, things happen. When someone makes money, things happen. So if it's cost you, it's fear and greed. Fear of loss, uh-oh. I'm going to lose money. I have to do something. Greed? Oh, I can make more money because I'm an EV evangelist and I'm a, I've got a portfolio I can sell stuff to. I need to sell more and I can sell my credits to the car companies that don't have it. Ah, there we go. There's a win. I've made even more money because that's what I'm here for. And by the way, supply cars too. It is an interesting one because cars and houses are so intrinsically linked. As we know from that incredible podcast that we had with Gina, when we looked at the correlation between car sales and real estate sales. So when, when the real estate market's up, the auto industry is up. And then when the real estate market uh, is under pressure and prices are going down, the auto industry's prices are going down and demand drops as well. So we've had a buoyant housing market all through this COVID period. Uh, you're right, there's been more immigration. So there's a whole heap of issues there, but then that means you need more cars. And that's why we know the car park went from 19.8 up to uh, 21.4 million. So and the car park's got older. That is unsustainable. The car park gets, keeps getting older and older. And I think we had a very good conversation with Michael from the VACC when he talked about the dealers were trading used cars that they normally wouldn't trade because they were older and of a poorer standard, but they just needed to trade those cars. Therefore, they had issues with customers where they said, hang on, this car I paid a lot of money for and it's not as good a car. Well, that's right, but it's got more haze and it's older. And it may be something that would have just been wholesaled off. Maybe even sent to the recycling yard that we were talking about before. 